We have been fighting an issue with this bike. It's really bizarre. I'll show you guys that it sparks. Now watch. Put it in here. No spark. Oh, there it is. What is that? Oh, that's warm too. I've tried a different ECU, different coil. I've unplugged everything. Brandon's been like not stressing pulled. about it. How long has it been down for? It's been like nine months or something. This scooter could have had a baby. <sighs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I'm trying to think of where it would come out. You know how it works? Yeah. Just some kissing. That's how you get pregnant. You know yeah, that, right? You gotta hold hands. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to buy a scooter swap shop, you can buy it. I'll be the majority owner, Paul. Cover the point, too. Here's the one. Okay. I'll give you my ID. Oh, geez. You're getting this Did you get the finger in there? You gotta get the finger in there. <laughs> how do you feel about SR50s? You don't know, like them? No. I'm gonna accidentally do this. <laughs> Shut the camera off. Shut the camera off. All right, as you guys saw yesterday, the bike was all back together, and now it's taken back apart again. You want to eat hot wings in bed with me? Ooh, yeah. You're gonna eat hot wings in bed with me? We can get all covered in hot sauce? Spank my booty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Weekend, right? Ooh, yeah. My last name's Slayer. Like, I'm a Slayer. So this is gonna be Spider-Man. This is gonna be PlayStation. Sometimes I think he's literally sleeping, but he's like, what? he's moving? He's just like dead. Oh, this thing feels good. So SR50s are really good bikes for doing these kind of builds. Quarter throttle here. We've been, I have been, well, we have been fighting an issue with this bike. It's really bizarre. Um, if I take spark plug out of this bike, hand tight i'm not sure if i'm gonna have all the stuff here to do it I'll show you guys a really really weird issue spark plugs out of the bike right then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna crank it over I'll show you guys that it sparks maybe that? okay now watch that stays the same i'm literally gonna take this i'm gonna put it into, put it into the cylinder here. If I can find the, the orifice here. Ooh, come on, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, nope, yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in here, snug it up, back up here. Now check this out. I'm gonna crank it over. No spark. So, after changing the battery, after fighting with a, we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you guys how to check for a parasitic loss or um, a short. Basically what's happening now, and, and it, what's what I'm assuming is happening is there's something going on with one of the sensors, one of these circuits that is causing such a massive um, draw on the battery that the ECU is not seeing the right amount of voltage to tell the bike to spark. It turns over, it cranks and everything, but since it has an ECU, the ECUs need to see certain values. Typically it's between like, you know, 10.9 and, and 14 or 11.5 and 14. I know with my KTM, I think if it saw below at like 11.3, it will not start. It'll crank, but it will not fire. Now, what you guys do is you set your voltmeter to the amp setting and you're gonna put one side in your amp and one side in common. Doesn't matter, polarity does not matter here. You're gonna complete the circuit, okay? You're gonna remove your ground terminal, and then you're gonna go from here to here. Essentially, this is complete the circuit, but it's going through the meter, okay? So what we're gonna do is turn the key on, and watch this. Seven point seven amps, that is massive. So there's definitely a big draw, going on here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through and basically start unplugging every every connector and work my way from front to back i'll leave it plugged in 
I'll probably leave on the trickle charger and I'm just gonna set the gauge up here and watch it. Just start unplugging things until I see the voltage drop. Once the voltage drops, then we'll know, okay, that was a component causing the problem. We can get this thing finally put back together. It has been just an epic, epic uh, nightmare, but this is all a big learning experience for, for us, of course. Um, but yeah, most of the stuff is just disconnected. So I'm guessing there's something going on uh, maybe in the headset or there could be an internally shorted. I mean, it could have something internally shorted here, but we're gonna start by disconnecting things and finding out where that short is um, or the loss which essentially is a short. So nothing on this bike should be drawing anything right now. It doesn't have, it has LEDs in the back and some voltage going to the ECU. That should literally be the only current right now. I'm guessing you should, I should see maybe, you know, 20 milliamps or something like that. So seven amps is a massive, massive drop. All right, we got everything hooked up. We're sitting at 6.68 volts. You know, it's not gonna be the lights, right? Because you would see a light bulb on right now. Gonna come back here and pop this guy here. Not that, so that's rear tail light. You can see that's a very, very small draw. Um, <coughs> horn works. Come back here, let's do the oil plug, not the oil plug. Let's unplug the, I'm a little nervous about the, this gas sending unit because the gas gauge is not working for some reason. I'm a little nervous, nope, not that. Not the gas, not that, not the lights. There wasn't really any other electric, there wasn't any other electrical work done to this bike. Uh, we're gonna start up here. Where's this guy? Oh, there it is. What is that? Oh, that's warm too. Oh, the ign that's well, that's ignition. Okay, so that doesn't make any sense. Naturally, yeah, it's it's warm. Wow, it's really warm actually. Um, I wonder. Okay. All right, so that makes sense because that's ignition. Pull this guy here. All right. This guy. It's a relay. Probably not gonna be that guy. Nope. What else we got up here? Nope, not that guy. What else do we, there's not really a whole lot here. Wonder. We got this relay down here, which is just gonna shut the bike off. All right, let's shut it off for a second because this battery is gonna be toast. Try to see if I can find any warm wires. Hmm, let's pull these panels off. Okay. You know what? I wonder if it's the oil pump. Nothing over here feels warm. Well, let's just start by unplugging some things. You know, if you would think some of these things would be warm, that's your starter. That's the oil pump. But yeah, these some of these things should be warm if they were uh, internally shorted. I don't think we even took any of this stuff off, to be honest. Come on, baby. All right, let's see what we got now. 6.8. So it's dropping now because the voltage uh, is going down on the battery because we have such a giant draw on it. See, I got two fuses here. Let's pull the 7.5. Shouldn't be the 7.5, but ooh. That's it, whatever 7.5 is. So let's look at the, the instructions and see exactly what this fuse does because the issue is gonna be down this circuit. Boom. Guys, that, this is a picture so like microscopic, I can't. Oh, five, maybe? Oh, yeah, she's nice and clear now. Oh, it's a 10 amp and a 15 amp. That's like a 7.5. <sighs> Battery goes to 15. That, that's, what's it? No, that bike's not a pure chat. All right, guys, so as you've seen, we're doing something we've never done before. We gave away the bug eye. First part of May, we'll do a video and an announcement on who won. We're also giving away a pre-bug. <music> to win, you need to be subscribed, but how else? You gotta click on the information above in the corner to watch the original video so you can enter to win. And don't worry, we're doing more giveaways soon. So, 
7.5 amp fuse. Uh, it looks like you've got your turn indicator system. All that works. The horn works. The water temp gauge and the oil level indicator. So I've unplugged the oil level indicator. So we're going to rule that out. I've unplugged the fuel system. We're going to rule that out. The water temperature gauge, um, I can check and the horn works and the indicator works. So it'd be pretty unlikely it's the horn or indicator. It sounds to me like it would be more likely that it was something with the, maybe the fuel system because the, um, the fuel gauge is not working, which leads me to believe that possibly there's something going on with that system. I'm lost here. What am I doing? I need to take this screw out of here. Phillips. Yeah, so um, we're gonna do builds in here still, but we're not doing these puppies anymore. Probably, honestly, at a, as far as hours put into this bike, we're probably upside down 60, 60 hours into this bike. Um, not the owner's fault, of course. It's nothing we would expect him to pay because it's just, it's just Ditex, man. Ditex stuff, so, okay. So we are going to 7.5. Looks like it comes out as kind of a test light if I have one. We're gonna find on that 7.5. So there shouldn't be any, shouldn't be any draw now. You know what? I bet it would start now, actually. Let's see if we got spark. Now I'm gonna throw the spark plug back in the cylinder here. Now I'm gonna crank it over. The battery's gonna be a little bit low because it's been sitting here with a massive draw. But now I'm curious to see if this thing is gonna spark. I bet it will. Nope. Oh, this is a bike. Fuel level system, horn, let's do this. So the fuel level, so the horn shouldn't work, okay? Indicators are not gonna work either because I've got the fuse out. I have a feeling, let's do this. Let's just start eliminating some problems here. Okay, let's see here. So if I get spark now with the spark plug out, that tells me the issue is not what, uh, Okay, so I'm gonna put a jumper battery on this and crank it over without that 7.5. It feels like it's spinning over just fine. Okay, I think, I think now the voltage is low and it's not spinning over that strong. Let me see, what do we got here? If you guys plan on working on bikes, you need one of these gauges, very bad. It's an absolute requirement. 12.6. Seven amp draw with the ignition on. Yet if I pull the fuse, still doesn't spark. For all those items. Where's the ground to the motor? On the side of it, the the wire you can see on the side, I believe. I'm literally touching the spark plug right to the motor and it sparks. So it has nothing to do with the motor not being grounded. It's just when it has that spark plug in and it's harder to crank over, it doesn't spark. This is bizarre, dude. That's still a draw, but it's pretty small. If I plug that 7.5 in, it jumps to seven amps. Pull a 7.5 amp out, thinking, okay, well, the draw is gone. The 7.5 does turn indicator, horn, fuel system, fuel level system water temp gauge and oil indicator and all that stuff's been unplugged. So I'm almost thinking there's something maybe going on in the headset that's backwards. Like there's a plug in the wrong spot. I don't know. But with the voltage going down, causing it not to spark, it has 12.7 when I push it and it drops to like 11.9. Now touch it to the...
trying to spark. Does this need to be grounded? That's what I was wondering, but it's all plastic, so mm. no. Or does it have a tip over sensor inside of it? Doesn't, does it? I doubt it. Because it doesn't, it, but it sparks. Hold it there. I really doubt it. No. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Next step is pulling apart the headset, literally going through every single wire, just top to bottom. So the only thing that's changed is you put this in, right? And then the fueling stuff. Mm -hmm. Wiring wise, the only thing that could be changed is well, right the, here. No, we didn't touch anything up there. But it was all pulled apart. Yes, it was. Throttle position sensor and... So none of that I stuff has to be hooked up anymore? No, it can't. I mean, and you just have to have it all dangle there, but no, it all goes away. <laughs> here, hit it. No. Freaking die text, man. That's not set. Left one seven. Spark. Yeah, but watch. And then turn the plug in. So it sparks, right? All the way in. That's fine. That's point six. Now let's try to start it again. Stop it. Break it down. Once it has sparked, it keeps sparking when I thread the spark plug in, but then when I shut it off and start again, it won't spark. I've tried a different ECU. I've tried a different coil. I've unplugged everything. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm really stumped. Called my one person who could help and he said, I don't have a f***ing idea. Who, Joe? Colin. Joe's like, call Colin, he'll know. And he's like, I don't have any idea, man. You're way past, you're like, Way further past than than I was. When you put this, when you put this on, it did that. Oh, it does this. Yeah. All right. Or well, I'm gonna go over real quick. The basically what's been keeping me up at night, and it's not. Brendan's been like not stressing pulled. about it. Yeah. How many hours do you think we have into this bike? One million. On our own time. One million. On our own. I mean, I've been getting paid. Yeah, but... you've been getting paid. Jeez. Uh, okay. Had a couple of videos. I'll. Sh I'm sure Pat probably already has, but basically. The whole bike was together. We tore the whole thing back apart, stopped running. It's been, how long has it been down for? It's been like uh, nine months or something. It could, this scooter could have had a baby. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm trying to think of where it would come wild. out. No, where would the baby come out? Well, here, right here, the, the tip. It'd be a small one. No, come up the carb, I think. Yeah. Or the spark plug hole. Did your mom actually teach you where babies come from, Paul? I know how it works. Storks? You know, I know how it works. You know how it works? Yeah. Just from kissing, that's how you get pregnant. You know yeah, that, you right? You gotta hold hands. <laughs> okay. Uh, we had, when we put the spark plug in the bike, it would not spark. We could literally take the spark plug out of the bike, it. touch it to the frame, and it would spark. But anytime you put a spark plug back in, it would not spark. Pulled the whole bike apart. Pulled all the connections off everything. Pulled the headset apart, everything. Um, went through every connection to find something strange. We even swapped out the stators on this bike as well. Um, swapped out relays, swapped out the computer from Melosi, and uh, ended up, Paul bought a starter, put a starter in. Well, no, we, we tested it first. We tested it, we jumped um, it and didn't work. I, I put um, a drill on the flywheel and just started it. And you turn it slow too. It was like pretty slow with the, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It was like the slow setting on the drill. So I think either there's something that that starter was, because it would turn over and crank. Either the starter was internally shorted, maybe, when you cranked it. I mean, or it, it, it just, cranked, but. But it was, I, but when it would be like slow, it, fast, it slow fast, slow fast, slow fast, slow fast. Yeah. So I don't think it was a speed thing because the drill to, turned so it over. The thing needs to, for whatever reason, they need to crank for like a solid two seconds before yeah. they actually spark. Well, how many pickups, how many things did you say 20, this time? 23. 23 pickups. So so if you guys have a spark issue with the with one of these bikes, obviously, have yeah, have fun. Um, but no, no joke, this one absolutely was, this has been the most difficult bike that I've ever had like stump me on, you know, this is probably the most difficult bike I've had to deal with since I've been here at the shop as an employee for Paul. Paul's buying scooter swap shop. He's taking it over. He's gonna make about that. twelve monthly installments of a hundred thousand dollars, and then he owns a company. That's actually a really good deal. It is a good deal. See, I wish I could afford that. Wait, what did I say? Twelve month, twelve one point two million dollars. Yeah. $1.2 yeah. If you guys want to buy a scooter swap shop, you can buy it for one point two million dollars. I'll give you one point two dollars. No, Paul's gonna make. I'll give you all the money in my Here. pocket no. plus the five hundred dollar government. I'll be the majority owner. Paul, cover the point two. 
Here's the one. Okay. I'll give you my ID. Here, wait. Here, give me, Here's you guys each one. give me a dollar and you guys can own a, a fraction of a percent of the company. Okay. That would mean you're going to have to pay us more. I'll give you Yeah, all. but then when we go into debt, it means you have to pay me back. Hey, wait, hold on. You guys got room. And I'm going to run your guys' investor. Yeah, I know, but I have to. Investor, that means we, we, this is our, our investor. That doesn't, that doesn't. If the company goes under. Did that's, that, that dollar wrong. isn't even like, that dollar isn't even worth a dollar anymore. Look at how weak that the thing dollar is. dollar was found on the floor. Yeah, oh, probably in my mine. office. No, so who's, who's, yeah. <laughs> who's actually <laughs> probably Okay, mine. well, probably things getting out of control right now. Uh, but yeah, so very difficult nightmare. I'm just basically like, dang, Second you should use that dollar to buy a pair of, uh, you should buy Use that dollar to buy a belt, bro. And this has to backwards, too. My ass? If you, I'm losing my ass. I need, I yeah. need to do some more squats. Do you go upstairs? <laughs> Is he making you awkward? He's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> hey, John, are you HR? I'm being Pat's up. making Paul feel uncomfortable. How am I making him feel uncomfortable? Oh, look, they're already talking it out. I don't even have to do anything. Yeah, they are. They got to figure it out. Look at that communication. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are we going to make this thing run and ride today? We made it run and ride today? Yeah! Woo! He doesn't know how to shake hands. Yeah. No, you gotta like, connect. You're swinging in too hard. Why do you yeah, not swinging in hard? Oh, jeez, you're getting this. Did you get the finger in there? You gotta get the finger in there. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. You're not my boss. Uh, Ooh. Hi, Paul. So, Brandon. What? How do you feel about SR50s? What if I accidentally did it on accident? You go <laughs> with the veins, right? Yeah. I don't like them. You don't like them? No. I mean, the customer's great. He's probably the best customer I've ever had. Yeah. Did you know that these started getting worked on December 18th, 2020? Yeah, you know when these scooters got dropped off? Uh, About a month and a half to two months prior to that. No, about it was, new, it was, November. Yeah. Well, what if we had COVID? Yeah. The well, pain. they the needed every what? part. They needed so many pieces. Well, didn't the fairings take like six months? Six months to show close, up. To, close to that for every single these, piece. These plates got dropped off in like June. Okay. 2020. So perfect example of I just spent what 40 minutes putting this piece on and then realized one little chunk of it cracked right there. So I had to take it all back off again and find another one upstairs to put it on. So that's awesome. That's, that's this is our luck with with these these bikes yeah and then they got new blinkers as well they got everything every single probably a part that we could buy for this bike which wasn't as much as we were expect hoping but like we were we the, bought it all it just didn't all come well remember the tunnels we only got like didn't we get any we got all the all? lefts or something all the left side so then we had to paint the lefts and rights to match yep. yeah and like we got like new inners and then the pieces didn't quite fit right Luckily, we had some some spray paint, so we were able to like kind of get it just close. Get it close. It. Doesn't look bad. If you look really close, it doesn't look as great, but that's just because how the plastic is. In these pieces, the factory um, covers for the bins don't fit the panels. The brand new ones. For some reason, it's and it's the tails. These are, are old. These are brand new. Yeah. And it, it wouldn't fit. So. so. I think that the other ones have like this line in it, and like these I ones guess, don't. I guess, but maybe. these are brand new. So, yeah. I, unless it's to change the design at some point. Yeah. But, yeah so and now then the seat got redone, right? So this what it got recovered. What it is is it's so like this. you need to put in that Janet Jackson song, two steps forward, one step back. Or, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm saying, right? With the cat. Oh yeah. With the cat. Yeah. Oh, Paul wouldn't know. Yeah. She likes to drink. I like to smoke. <laughs> you know exactly what. Knows exactly. What. And so, somehow I don't have any of the stuff from me wrapping this. I don't know where any of that footage went. Me but... and Paul did it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I was oh. like, I'm not gonna wrap that scooter. Yeah. Unless uh -huh. you have, we did it all. Unless you have video to prove it. <laughs> yeah, which he doesn't. No. So. Yeah. They did such a good job on this. Yeah. We did. Yeah, we did. It was actually our first time. Yeah. 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 No. Hey John, you know the song Opposites Attract, right? Yes. Two steps forward, one step back, is that how it goes? With the cat? Yeah, I think so. Sing on those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sing sing it dance for us, John. No, no. Come on. It's come on. You get too many hits that shut down the internet. Yeah. yeah. All of it. All yeah. of it. We don't want to expose John's 
<laughs> so John would sing so good that it would uh, demonetize the, the video. Because it would be a perfect match to Janet Jackson. Okay, so now Dang. I gotta go find upstairs that little chunk right there. Look at You see like a hairline crack right there. Mm -hmm. Just a little tiny piece cracked. So. But it runs? It, Have you checked this and see for the body panels on? Maybe the body panels yes. are part of the problem. No, it runs. Are you so, sure? Yeah. Are you, a thou, I mean... Pause it. It runs. Uh, Don't the curse us. Out. I'm not cursing you. I'm just this you know, is trying to be vodka. sure. Because I need it. <laughs> John's fresh, like, fresh sealed mm. vodka. This long journey is about to end. Is it? Fingers crossed. It? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to find that panel. Bye. They're gonna ride, ride it today. Brendan's gonna want to ride it. Huh? Brendan's gonna ride it. I mean, it, didn't it technically, earlier. didn't it technically On get, get, in, get ridden? No. It was, it ran, it, it just ran. never, oh, it never, it never, it never, never ran, on ran because it didn't have a wheel and tire. It never ran on carburetor either. It did? Nope, not on carburetor. Why, you guys did it or Dustin did it? It's never run on carburetor. It was always on F5. Gotcha. So you and Dust, you and Brandon did the carb swap. I did the carb swap, yeah. Yeah. No, it ran, that, it ran carb. It just no, never no, it ran. Never, never, it, no, it never ran on carb. Dang, that 2TR. Man, I wish you could see in that black hole in there, maybe. That's not going to work either. Oh, I heard something. I heard something. I hear you yelling. Hey. Yell at me. No. No, no, no. No, shut the camera off. Shut the camera off. Yeah. 